clown. What? <laughs> I'd, I'd love to call us to order and ask everyone to uh, call roll. So I'm Betsy Towns. I'm Cliff Lisa Dorsey. Lisa? Lisa Stroud. Cliff? Cliff? Dozel? Jennifer? Jennifer Finkel. Shannon? Shannon Stokes. David? David Finn. Marvette? I, I can't hear you, Marvette. Can you, I think you're on mute. Can you hear me now, I guess? <laughs> yes. Sorry. And Marvette Aldrich and Jason Thiel is coming in and will announce himself and Kelly's here fearlessly leading us. <laughs> Fearless. Okay, welcome everybody. Thank you for doing the special meeting so that we can um, we can knock out a couple of these items that needed to be voted on last time. Um, here, I'm going to share my screen and it's just going to be the agenda that I sent out, which weirdly has double a lot of double a few things in here than, than it should. Um, so one of the items was to look at um, the recommendation for the Carver School Road Branch Library Committee. They recommended a design by Ernel Martinez, which you can see here. Um, he is, I should say, very open to changes to this. He'd like to do a community workshop. Um, he's also committed to doing a community paint day where he will have a, a sketch of this printed on canvas and then paint this, um, paint, paint this mural and then apply it to the wall. And then on a community paint day, people can apply some layers and um, kind of participate in the in the process of this uh, painting this mural. Here's what that mural could look like in the Carver School branch. And then Owens Daniels is on Zoom but not on video, he says in the chat. So all right, I'll mark him present. Um, so the committee unanimously recommended Mr. Martinez. They had a couple other interviews with artists. They had Salem Ortiz and then uh, Natalie Jester. And um, we have a couple members of that committee here. If you, if you all want to ask any questions about how this went, or you can ask questions of me. <laughs> um, I, I would just emphasize things that came out in the meeting last time was that um, just as Kelly said, but I'm just sort of underscoring it, that um, Martinez was very open to adjustments and that the the proposal is kind of for style and and he uh, and he seemed very open to um, the committee members real appreciation of some of the more intense colors that he uses in some of his other murals and also in um, in buildings and kind of icons that were, are a little bit more proximate to the school. I mean, sorry, to the library. And I guess I'm a little confused about the what we're seeing a freestanding cam canvas in a library. I'm that that's confusing me, I guess, a little bit. It's, no, it's a um, it's a mural that's applied to the wall. And he uses a um he uses a material, it's like a, a spun um I forget if it's uh, I, it, it's like a almost like a spun Tyvek uh, mm -hmm. material that's made specifically for murals so that 
you can uh, you can create it in sections, and then um, uh, apply it to the wall like wallpaper, okay. and then go back over it and paint it. So it's going to be applied directly to the wall, um, and it's uh, it's permanent and can be removed. Is so is the this isn't doesn't represent the wall though. This but, is uh, we're well, seeing a, it's um. Uh, it would be painted directly on. Do we have a picture of the wall? Just the blank wall? No. Is it, his his image does look like it's. Um, yeah, that that if you if you imagine all this wall the same color, um, that's that's how it's going to look. It's not like a um, a freestanding canvas. Okay. It, it'll be painted directly on the wall and look like like it's directly on the wall. So does it go all the way up to the to the gable? Um, does it? wrap around the windows what's the uh it, it looks like his his idea is that it's going to go all the way up to the bottom of the window okay does it does it fade out sort of around the edges uh, i think that's going to be up to his final um okay what what he uh what he comes up with because the the image itself is is just representative of what he's thinking, but what he wants to do is to bring in more community um, programming, uh, bring people in from the community to come up with images that are specific to uh, the library itself and to the neighborhood. So it won't it won't be looking like you know generic Winston okay. Salem. Okay, got it. Got right it. now it's just like generic Winston Salem placeholder. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. So does he want recommendations from the library and from the committee to sort of as a response to this? He he really, I, uh, well, go ahead, Cliff. You should answer that. I wasn't in the Oh, room. yeah, he's, he wants to bring in, um, have a series of public events um, mm -hmm. where he, um, he discusses the history of the uh, of the library uh, discusses the history with the uh, the librarians with community members and then uh to get community buy-in he also wants to have workshops where they come in and uh and actually paint portions of the mural and then uh he'll use his skills to kind of you know blend them all together hmm. and to but it he'll start it it's not like willy-nilly everybody paints something on the mural and ooh, you know, I'll bring it all together. He comes in with uh with the concept, with the design, and then the community adds the color. So does this committee oh, yeah. are we gonna have the another opportunity to review and approve his final concept? I, yeah, I no? discuss that. What yeah um, we can do that. Yeah. And has the library been active um, in um, as well, or just send it to her by email? Email or the original, and then um, I have to mail the check. I just didn't know if you want me to mail this with it. Hey, Jason, no, would you mind uh, meeting? Permit separately, and then got his headphones off. Okay. Oh. My my question was just um, uh, has has the library been. Uh, are, are they on, they're on board with this and yes. they, they like the idea clip they're they're working with him and every, everything on it because it sounds really like a good really sounds great yeah For yeah someone to be willing to put that much time in of, of everybody that we looked at um he's he's got the best technique he's got the most professional um uh the most professional resume uh do kelly do you have some of his uh, other works that we could show And, I, and Lisa, you might want to jump in because you also asked a number of the questions that um, that are being asked now. And like, <laughs> what what thoughts did you have after looking at these works last time? Yeah, I I thought the one he did was just too muted. But you know, you look at his other work, and it's much yeah. much brighter, much more engaging in the actual neighborhoods. And I think that's where he's going to go with this. Now, you know, Cliff has explained a lot more. Um, I, I really love his work and I love his concept. And he's local too. 
Yeah. So uh, if he, 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 I imagine he really wants to make this a home run uh, because, um, you know, if he, if he brings this one in, then. Yeah. I mean, we could just, we could bring him in a lot of other projects and, and then we would already have a working relationship with him. He says local. Is he from Winston Salem? When you say local, he just moved to Winston Salem from Philadelphia. All of these images, I think, all of these images are from Philadelphia, aren't they, uh, Kelly? They are. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one. Mm -hmm. And I think on all these, he uses that same technique of um, painting on the uh, um, the fiber bond material uh, and then applying it. What's his name? Um, Arnell Martinez. Arnell Martinez. Yeah. Okay. I mean that Ed Bradley one he did is just amazing. I mean it really looks like Ed Bradley. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to prematurely cut off conversation, but um, I'd like to move if and. If if there aren't other pressing questions, I'd like to move that, make a motion to approve, and and go ahead. I'll second that. Okay, and I was just going to indicate uh, motion to approve, and we'd like to see uh, a more finished sketch after his um, further work. Yeah. Okay, and David, you game to second that one. Yes, I okay. do second it. Um, and Owens adds in the chat, he also spoke in detail about the difference between indoor work and outdoor work, which helped us understand the tech uh, and color scheme needed for the project. So all in or any further discussion? I can't nope. see. Anybody. I can't see everybody. I'm just scanning. Oh, no. Oh, Jane, Jane Dabb joined us as well. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Owens, maybe let us know in, in the chat if you're also mm -hmm. in favor. <laughs> that was unanimous. Uh, yeah. Owen says yes, too. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, he didn't. I, I, yeah, he oh, says no. yes. There you go. <laughs> What's up, Kelly? I was just gonna go on to the the ninth wonder mural design if you're ready. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So you all approved um, the budget um, for the ninth wonder mural in September. I was pleased to be reminded by Shannon at the last meeting. <laughs> We were trying to move forward with this. And, um, but uh, just want to play it safe and have you all um, approve or look at the, his Scott Nurkin's um, Let me call design. I'm in a meeting. And this is on oh, 550 you. North Liberty. It's, a, it's the Sixth Street facing wall. And it's, uh, this is actually where we were originally looking and now we have permission to use this wall um, after looking at it on the parking deck uh, last month. So, th so they brought it back and they, um, you know, redesigned it based on, based on your feedback and looking at their what they had proposed on other walls. So, and we have permission permission to use this wall. And they would like to, they, they are available to go ahead with this mural as early as June. So, uh, I'll just share that I, um... I, I kind of heard this in the room at our small meeting last week, and I will just share my opinion that um, I think it's a beautiful, I think it's a be beautiful image and that it's a really strong match for this wall. 
I mean, I don't, Kelly, I don't know if you can make it even a little bit bigger. Um, the my screen is small, but it um, their printout made it even more vibrant. Thank you. Anything else from our conversation last week that um, y'all would like to bring forward? I'm only that um, Ninth Wonder did approve, right? He approved the image. He signed off on it. Um, yeah, I, I think it's beautiful. I love the mm -hmm. placement on the wall. Um, I think it's a great location. Yeah, I'm pleased. If I hadn't seen the Nina Simone uh, mural in person, I would be yeah. a little bit, um, I would be just shocked maybe that he could do a mural like this. He'll do it in three to five days. So yeah. Kelly's seeking permissions on closing the um, closing the sidewalk for the uh, scissor lift. But that's his plan is to, to complete this in three to five days. Any any questions from those of you who didn't see before? Well, I think it looks great. Uh, this is the one that is uh, uh, is it facing the parking the parking lot? It's not facing the UPS parking lot. It's facing it's facing north. Oh, okay, okay, yes, okay. I remember now. Yeah, and they occasionally have concerts on that. Uh... Uh, on that parking lot too. In the lot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it really looks great. Um, and I think it's a big improvement over the initial, yes, there we go. It's a big improvement over the initial um, placement. There it is, yeah. Uh, it's over yeah, here. that's gonna be fantastic. Yeah. Pretty sizable wow. space too. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Kelly, for showing that context. Yep. Yeah. And I think when that Western sun comes in during the golden hour, I think that would be really nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll just keep keep moving. <laughs> so I, I'd like to make a motion to approve this design in this location for Scott and Erkin to begin painting as early as May. I'm sorry, as early as June 1st. I'll second. Who was that Jane? Lisa. 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 That was Lisa. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. No. So all in favor? Mm -hmm. Aye. 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 Right. Do we have Owens in the chat? <laughs> yeah, we got, oh, we got, got Owens, yes, on the um, on the uh, Carver School Library mural, and maybe another yes forthcoming. I see a yes at two nineteen, so that lines up. <laughs> okay. Um, so the next item was the July meeting date. So uh, you meet on the first Tuesday of the month which is July 4th. Uh, so I just want to see if you wanted to move that to maybe July 11th uh, or another, another date. July 11th would be the second Tuesday. That works for me. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody want to make a motion? I'd like to make a motion so that we meet on July 11th in place of uh, July 4th. Second, Betsy. Okay. All in favor? Or Aye. 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 Um, Aye. So thank you. One more, Owens. <laughs> One more <laughs> vote for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to add the pizza clause. Oh, too late. 
<laughs> Pizza Claus. Is that like Santa Claus? <laughs> Italian version. <laughs> okay, well, unless you have anything else to discuss, that was a, we don't have any public, anybody from the public here? I have a question. Yeah. I saw today that it was an art exhibit at the at City Hall, and there was a picture of the artist and Mayor Joins, and it said they would like to um, thank the mayor and the Art Commission. Do we do that? <laughs> no. Uh, so that was somebody from um, the Human Relations Department, and they just asked for, uh, they wanted to do an exhibit on a very tight timeline and asked for a list of contacts with local artists, which I sent them. <laughs> so, and then they, they reached out. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't remember that at all, so. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh, and Owen oh. in there too. Well, he gets around. <laughs> <laughs> um, any other questions, other discussion? All right, well, um, I guess see you on the first Tuesday of May and meeting adjourned. All right. Okay. okay. Thanks, Thanks everyone. So, thank you. Bye-bye.